If you're thinking about moving to Solana Beach, we're gonna hop into four of the top neighborhoods in Solana Beach, let you know what they're all about, what's around there, what you're gonna find there, and what you might be doing in those neighborhoods, kind of the types of housing and everything else you need to know so you can figure out if any of these neighborhoods are the right spot for you to move. So let's get into it right now. First off, where is Solana Beach? It is about 25 minutes north of downtown San Diego, kind of sandwiched right between Cardiff, Encinitas, and Del Mar. And then you've got Rancho Santa Fe is directly east of Solana Beach. And as far as coastal cities go here in San Diego, this is one of the smaller ones. In other map videos, you may have seen a lot of the times we'll just click into the neighborhoods that are showing up on the map. Today, we're just going to be circling neighborhoods because there's not too many that show up in this area. So depending on where you are in Solana, in most areas, since it doesn't go back too far or too far away from the five in either direction, you're going to be about 30 minutes, like Cassie said, from downtown San Diego. That's where a lot of people fly into. So we always like to use that as a base just to give you guys a good idea of where the heck we are in San Diego County. You're just going to go shoot up the five freeway and get off in the first neighborhood that we're going to start at. And it's going to be a little coastal section of Solana Beach. So this coastal section of Solana Beach is pretty diverse just because one side is distinctively homes and the other side is distinctively condos. So we'll get into kind of both of those options. So even though Solana Beach doesn't have a huge coastline, there is a huge chunk of coastal condo options in Solana Beach, kind of from Del Mar all the way up to Loma Santa Fe, which kind of splits that coastal section in half. But you can just see that it's a lot of condos kind of throughout that coastal section. So you've got killer ocean views, you've got a whole ton of right on the water home options. Um, and then they eat, not each of them, but a bunch of them have their own beach accesses also kind of stairs, as you can see, it's all bluff. So, you know, access is not super easy in that section of Solana beach. You gotta either get down to Fletcher Cove or Del Mar to the South to kind of get to beaches. Uh, otherwise it's just a ton of stairs, but you can see that there's just a ton of units that have those awesome oceanfront views. And from a lot of these condos, you can use it as, you know, uh, set it and forget it or lock it and leave kind of thing where maybe it's just a vacation home because there are so many. There's uh, underground parking. There's just a lot of amenities in there. You got tennis courts and pools and all that kind of stuff. And then you're a quick shot to Coast Highway where you do have a bunch of the shops and restaurants and all that kind of stuff here in Solana Beach. So Coast Highway 101, where it says Highway 101 right there, that's where you're gonna find a lot of the infrastructure, nothing too big, but right across the street as well. One place that we bring up a lot, Belly Up Tavern, but Lofty Coffee, there's a beer spot in here, there's a steak spot in here. This is the Cedros District. Oh, there's a steak spot, Rare Society. And it is just a big shopping area with a bunch of high-end shops and restaurants and super cool spot to cruise around. But yeah, just uh, this is another amenity you're gonna be within walking distance. You don't even have to go up to Loma Santa Fe. There's a bridge right to the south here too where you cut across. So if you're living in this area, super easy access to get over there. And then uh, one of the main beaches right here is Fletcher Cove. You can see there's not too many beaches in Solana Beach that are super accessible. All up and down here is bluffs. And then the ones we just showed you are bluffs. Other than that, Actually, somebody came in back in the day and eroded this to make it accessible for people in Solana Beach. This used to be bluffs too, but the story is pretty, pretty awesome. But yeah, they literally like took a fire hose and blew all this out to make it just a nice, easy grade down to the ocean. So if you're looking for super coastal or like oceanfront detached houses, there is a small section of Solana Beach that has that really, really high end, beautiful homes right on the ocean. Not a ton of beach access, like if you've heard of us talking about like Encinitas, Carlsbad, like where they have stairs and stuff. Solana Beach, there's a lot less of that. And part of that is just that there's not much beach in some of those sections too. Um, you can see right now it's probably low tide, uh, mm -hmm. but the water gets all the way up to those cliffs um, when it is a higher tide. And there's not a ton of these homes as you can see, um, but even those little neighborhoods kind of just east of the bluff front homes are really cool, really cool kind of just that beachy feel. So uh, a neat neighborhood to explore. Yeah, and so this whole section, we're going North Coast Highway, anything to the west of that, that is gonna be the coastal area of Solana Beach. So right now we're at Fletcher Cove, which is the main beach you're gonna go to right here in Solana Beach. This is the main beach access. There's not a ton of them here. 
in Solana Beach, but if you are cruising around and you go that way to the north, that is where you're gonna find kind of those oceanfront homes. You can see a few of them lined up right here, but as far as oceanfront, bluff front homes, that is the section you're gonna go here in Solana Beach. And then as we're cruising down to the south over here on this side, that is where you're gonna find some of the most, I would say the most in all of the coastal cities here in San Diego, all the most amount of condos. So you can see a few up on the bluffs here, but they just go down for, I don't know how far, but almost till where you hit Del Mar. So if you are looking for that ocean front style, not all the condos are right on the ocean front, but they have access to the cliffs. There's a few beach access points down there. So you can go down there and they have these private access points. There's also a few public access points down that way. And then one more also up to the north here where you do have another beach access point up there. So up here in Solana, this is that coastal living, like I said, and you're gonna have access to a few of the kind of walkable neighborhoods. So this is where you're gonna find Coast Highway as well, which is, I'm staring at it right here. You got the big Brixton building here, which is a local company or local, I don't know, they're just a local brand. You see them a lot around here. And then I'm gonna show you, you have a double dose here in Solana Beach. So let's go see the other little section that you do have access to right here. Now we're cruising through the Cedros Design District. They all have access to this little spot too. Well, really anywhere you're living in Solana Beach, but this is where you're gonna find like some home decor places. I'm just walking under the sign right now where you do have the farmer's market every week as well down this way. So it's just a really cool little area. You're gonna find some coffee shops down here. You're gonna find a lot, like I said, a lot of that home decor. You'll find a lot of those kind of higher end places down here. The Belly Up Tavern, which we mentioned a lot, is right down that away. Some live music, some little restaurants in here. So you're gonna have this right in your backyard and you could come through uh, the main area but they also have a bridge right over this way where you could pop out and so if you're living in the condos right over there maybe you want to go to dinner on the coast highway 101 maybe you want to shoot over here and explore you'll have both those options as well in the bridge that i mentioned i was pointing a little further north it's actually almost due south right off adalia so you're off coast highway dahlia you got a nice bridge go straight across and you're right in the heart of cedros Next section we're gonna cover in Solana Beach is west of the five, but east of Coast Highway 101. So there's a few little neighborhood named neighborhoods in here, but we're just gonna call it west of the five freeway. And this is very unique homes, a lot of custom homes in here. You have these winding roads going down. So these are all, it's elevated up here. You're going down to the coast up here. So certain homes up here, you have these unbelievable views. Looking into the San Alejo Lagoon right here, and you'll also have access to all the, the whole trail system that goes in there. So if you're just like exploring neighborhoods and maybe you have your kids in the car and you guys want to get out and about and explore a little bit, hop on this trail right here, bring up to Annie's Canyon Trail. It's a nice little 10 minute, well, this is longer than 10 minutes to get there, mm -hmm. but the actual Canyon Trail is beautiful. It's like this little slot canyon going up to once again, beautiful views up there. So. And if you're living up here, they just connected all these trails. So you could actually start in here. It's pretty flat. Go around. There is a bridge underneath the five freeway. There's a new little path along Manchester here. And then you cut back in uh, in this section of Cardiff. Bridge is going across and all the way around to enjoy the lagoon. It's a really beautiful run. It's nice. You could even cut across. There's a bridge underneath the train tracks. These are all train tracks right here going through here. There's actually a train station. I get sidetracked here, but there's a train station in Solana as well. So if you needed to commute down to San Diego or you just want to go catch a Padres game or anything like that, you can easily do that as well. Within this community, you've also got Skyline Elementary, which is right down there. You've got Earl Warren. Both of these schools have been remodeled, like completely remodeled over the last few years. So they're in great shape. Um, and then a lot of like especially the elementary school is walkable from a lot of these neighborhoods. They are, like I said, kind of narrower streets. Um, and it's kind of a mix, kind of a, a mix of different housing. Um, but you do have some of the small, smaller kind of 70s style homes, but then you have also kind of that custom feel too, just because 
that those smaller 70 style homes, a lot of them have been remodeled. You can see kind of a, some of the larger ones in there too. So um, it's definitely a good mix of just different types of housing. And then right down to the south, you're gonna have the main one of the main shopping areas in Solana Beach. So this is where you're gonna find your Sprouts and a few other stores in here, kind of the hardware store, Starbucks. Going in here, once you get to the coast, that's Coast Highway 101. That's where you're gonna find like a lot more kind of local restaurants and whatnot. Here's just a Solana Beach Town Center, Marshalls and all kinds of stuff in here. So you do have another little shopping center on the other side of the five, which we'll cover here in a sec, but it's super close, super convenient. If you want any of the like bigger box stores and Home Depots and Targets and stuff like that, you're gonna likely go to the north in Encinitas where you'll find a lot of that. As you know, and you hear us talking about a lot, there are a ton of great Mexican restaurants in San Diego. In Solana Beach, there are two sit down spots that are really popular. Um, and it's kind of, you know, you're, you're gonna pick and choose which one you like, but there are, uh, you're either a Fidel's family or you're a Tony Ducal family. <laughs> it's a bitter rivalry. It's rivalry. A, Let's just say that. Yeah, it is. Cassie's a Fidel's guy for sure. Yes, for sure. He knows somebody who's a Tony's guy and he just, he, yeah, it's not pretty. Let's yeah. just say that. Well, our, yeah, our families used to have, it was like the great debate every time we went out to dinner with them our kids. And I haven't been to Tony Ducal since I was like 12. So. <laughs> <laughs> heavily protesting it <laughs> and also a cool little spot to visit if you shoot right down the five it's like a probably like two exits away you get off on del mar heights road is one paseo a bunch of high-end restaurants and shops it's like a little outdoor shopping mall so you could cruise around and check that out across the road is the del mar highlands town center that's where you're going to find a sinopolis sky deck is awesome in this little building right here they have a bunch of different restaurants and stuff. So I think there's probably like 10 or so, I don't know, give or take, but it's a big shopping center as well. They do events and stuff throughout the year as well. So if you're living in Solana, this is like 10 minutes away or something, you'll probably be hitting that up as well. So now we are west of the five and you can see up on this hill here, you do get some of these gorgeous views out here. Not all of them, but we're sloped up on a hill. You do have this opportunity up here. And this is where you're gonna find the most character I would say in Solana Beach as far as different types of homes and different styles of homes. Let me turn us around here real quick. This is a good street to kind of show you what's going on, but we have some beautiful brand new homes. You have some as we cruise this way and all these are winding streets too. So there's nothing straight. There's no sidewalks up here. You're just cruising. It's kind of like other little areas. You do have some of the Kind of the, this isn't the original footprint. There's some older homes in here as well, but you know, somewhat redone here. You do have up here, there's this gorgeous house on the corner here. You can see it coming around where you do have a lot of that style too. There's new places where there's opportunity where if you wanna buy a lot, you can do that. You can put up something big like this. You can put up something small like this. Over down this road here, you do have some of the kind of original style where you do have that single family home. That's just small cottagey style. So you will find that up here as well. And then as you are cruising through this neighborhood too, you're gonna to have access to the north, which is this direction over here, where you do have, that's like the trail system that they've recently redone. So you could hit it from Rios, which is at the bottom of the hill here. You do have access to the freeway real quick, which you kind of actually hear it a little tiny bit. So it does come up the hill a little bit as you get closer towards the east. It's not too bad. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. But you also have access to kind of like the shopping area, plus that downtown area, which we already covered. That's just like five, 10 minutes away. So here's a few other styles of houses where you do have kind of this smaller single story house. This one's actually for sale. And then you do have, you know, next door to it, another one that's been redone. And one other thing about this neighborhood up here, it's kind of tucked away. So there's no main roads going through. They're all side roads. Most traffic going through here is either going to be like construction for people working on their houses and stuff, but there's really no reason to cut up through here unless you are living up here. So other than the little bit of freeway noise as you get further east, you know, back here, it's quiet, it's nice. Like I said, no sidewalks or anything. So if you're going to, you kind of see it back this way. If you're going to kind of downtown, let me pan in the wrong way, but back this way, if you're going to, that's where like Coast Highway, that's where Cedros is. 
you're gonna be driving. But like I said, it's probably like a five minute drive. So not too bad right in the west of the five neighborhood here in Solana. Hopping over the five freeway to the east, you've got a couple of neighborhoods that kind of just, it's hard to tell when you enter one and leave the other, but you've got Santa Fe Hills, the OG Santa Fe Hills, and the OG <laughs> San Alejo Hills um, within Solana Beach. And this is just a ton of housing. So there's not a ton of infrastructure. There are There is a school, Solana Vista, in this area. But for the most part, it is just houses right in this section of Solana Beach. And these are all, this is like the track neighborhood area of Solana Beach. So that's where you're going to find up here. A lot of the same, these are all like tiered streets. So as you're going up, a lot of hills here. We keep mentioning hills, but you can see it's kind of tiered up going into this hill. One thing to note here, as you get closer to the five freeway, five doesn't stop and it keeps going <laughs> throughout the night forever. So depending on where you are in this section, once you get back a few, like uh, it's not even too far where you do, you know, you're still probably going to hear the freeway coming up here, but it's not going to be too crazy. The further you get on this side, yeah, it gets a little bit noisy. So as you're looking at homes pop up, you might want to just be like, okay, how close are the freeway? And you're, as you're exploring too, go out there and cruise onto this street and see how loud it is right there. And you can kind of find the perfect spot where it kind of just sounds like the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> and then infrastructure wise, it's pretty much the same as uh, the last neighborhood we talked about. You have all that stuff on the west side of the five, but you also do have a center kind of dedicated <laughs> to the east side of the five. You've got grocery store, you've got some kind of chain restaurants, you've got just some things to be that are close. You got Samurai, which is a sushi spot that we've been going to since we were kids. Um, and just some of that infrastructure that's real close by. And from this neighborhood too, you do have access to those trails, which they do connect again. So you could even uh, access the bigger trail system here. You go back into Rancho Santa Fe a little bit from a lot of these trailheads. So if you want like a open space, this is just a big open lagoon. It's pretty rad. They're not building houses on there. They recently revitalized the whole thing and kind of made it just like look nicer, added, not added, but connected a lot of the trails. And then directly to the east is you got kiddos, San Diego County Park right here. There's a few different playgrounds. There's big grass areas down here. You have like parties and whatnot. There's some trails going along the outside, nothing too great. But then as you get into the center up here too, there's some nature walks. There's some little bridges and stuff for the kids to cruise around. And let me see if I could find it on here. It's right by the hawk's nest, but... It's somewhere in this zone where the just bridges are. North. Let's go this way. Right there, right there. Oh, there's the bridges. Yeah, <laughs> you can't really see them on there, but just fun. Kids love it. Get out there, stretch your little legs, stretch their little legs, and yeah, and get out, run across the bridges. And then also, like I said, a few different playgrounds and stuff where you do have plenty of parking up here. You have a playground here. You got one on this side, and you'll just see a lot of people out there during the weekends and stuff having parties and hanging out. Now we are in the track neighborhoods. You just saw the map portion of it, but I'm gonna show you a little bit boots on the ground. This neighborhood it made the list because it's one of the more affordable neighborhoods here in Solana Beach. And one of the cons is most of the homes are relatively the same, but you will find some like this one where they have come in, remodeled the whole thing. It was just originally like a track home, like the one next door here and they have definitely redone it made it nice made it look somewhat custom so over time there is been some of those coming in where people have come in and remodeled and then just over this hill that's this is all tiered up here so as we're showing a little bit of drone footage you'll see it but so all these have views looking to towards the north you kind of hear it. i don't know if you could hear it on the video but behind these houses and down the hill here that is where the freeway is. But with this neighborhood, it does, you are, okay, that is a pro as well. You are close to the freeway. So if you're traveling for work or anything, going north or most likely going south, then you have easy access to that. You have somewhat easy, you have pretty easy access to like the main shopping area right here in Solana Beach, which is just at the bottom of these hills here. So this is Santa Fe Hills and then San Alejo Hills is kind of right over that way. So it is another, once again, track, neighborhood, a little bit different style, but relatively kind of the same sort of vibe. And right, kind of right in that direction as well, which I don't know if we mentioned it in the video, but it's San Diego Park. So it's a huge park right on the border of, which is Rancho Santa Fe right over there and Solana Beach. And you're still only like probably 
10 minutes from the beach. You're honestly not that far because Solana Beach is pretty small. Next up is the Country Club area. Uh, it's a big area of Solana Beach, east of the five. It takes up a lot of the real estate of Solana Beach because there are two golf courses. There's Loma Santa Fe Executive Course, and then there's Loma Santa Fe Country Club. Executive is public. Loma Santa Fe Country Club is private. But there are a ton of housing options on the golf course and kind of surrounding the golf course. Um, there's townhome style. There's big detached homes. There's smaller detached homes. There's a ton of different options for housing on these two golf courses. So if you're looking at a little bit of that country club life, you want to hit up the, the links, uh, you know, daily if you want and live right here. This is a really good option. But you're also... Like we mentioned, Solana Beach is pretty darn small. So you're you're close to all of the stuff that we just said. And, you know, five freeway if you need to go north or south. The beach, yeah, it's not right next to the beach, but it's pretty much right next to the beach. You know, you're, you're still not too far inland. You're probably like 10, 15 minutes out here. And then just for more infrastructure, there is the Flower Hill Flower Hill Mall, I think. Yep, yep. Um, you got Whole Foods down there. You've got the Cucina Inoteca, which is a cool little Italian restaurant. Um, and just some other spots down here as well. And this is another spot to bring the kids because this whole center section they have, they usually have, depending on what time of year, but like game set up. So you'll find some ping pong tables in here. There's sometimes a little piano set up down here. There's uh, open areas in here just to relax and hang out. Sometimes they have a little cornhole going on, maybe grab a coffee, cruise around here, burn an hour a little bit. Uh, there's a toy store and a little playground over on this side too. So it's a good jumping off spot or a little spot for a break as well. Now we are in the country club area. So surrounding the golf course here. Now it is a track neighborhood, but a lot of single story homes. You're gonna find some original places. You're gonna find some that have been somewhat updated. And then you're gonna find some that are being remodeled at the end of the block here. There's some, a lot of construction going on up there, but it's uh, yeah, single story for most of it. You're gonna find a few two story, but the lots in here are decent size, nice and spread out. There's also another neighborhood uh, a little bit closer down that way to the freeway. If you're going that way where it's a little more uh, custom and you will also find on the other side of the golf course, it is a little bit of kind of that condo-ish style kind of lives like single family homes but it's a smaller condo community over there so there's a few different options around the country club which is a private course here they do have the executive course if you just wanted to hop on a nice little par three over there but you're kind of tucked away here this is the track area the other section a little close to the freeway is going to be custom that's what you're going to find here in this section of solana